hi, I'm Jason, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Vigo as a head mouse. Please make sure you have the Vigo set up properly. If you need any help, please check out our other tutorial video. You can find the link in the description. If you have a Vigo mouse only kit, you have the software running and you're in range, then it should connect automatically when you switch it on. You just need to recenter it to start mousing. We'll explain how to do that shortly. If you have a Vigo drive kit, Long press the headrest sensor or the external switch for around a second until the cubo screen illuminates. Then release the headrest sensor. You should see mouse displayed on the screen. Then you can activate and deactivate the mouse with a short tap to the headrest sensor or auxiliary switch, exactly how you would for driving. Switch back to driving. Simply long press the sensor or auxiliary switch again until the cubo screen illuminates and displays link drive. Don't forget, the Vigo will be deactivated when you switch back. You will have to tap the headrest sensor again to continue driving. You can do this three ways. You can do this by getting an assistant to deactivate then reactivate the Vigo headset by simply pressing the silver button on the side once. Or you can manually realign a centre position by using the sides of the screen like so. Or by deactivating and reactivating with the headrest sensor or external switch if you're using the Vigo to drive your chair. The Vigo is quite simple to use. Just move your head in the direction you want the cursor to be. The headset is quite sensitive by default, so there's no need for big movements. You can customise the cursor speed and sensitivity in the General Set Mouse app. We will show you how to do this in the next tutorial video. You can use your cheek or eye to operate the gesture sensor for clicking. Simply wink your eye, wince your upper cheek, or puff your lower cheek, like so. For operation with your eye, the sensor should be closer to your face, and for the operation by puffing your lower cheek, then it should be further away. Note, the sensor becomes more sensitive the closer it is to the face. Double clicking works the same way, just make the movement twice. Note, to make this easier, we recommend you slow down your mouse clicker speed on your computer. Again, drag and drop works the same as it would on a normal computer mouse. Just hold your gesture to grab the item on the screen and release it when you've reached the spot where you want to place it. You can choose different functions from the sidebar, like drag and drop. We'll get to that in the next video. Use the gyro set mouse's toolbar to make the keyboard visible. You can reposition the keyboard by simply dragging it into another place on the screen. Just move your cursor on the button that you want to press and click it on with the gesture sensor. 